Hallo allemaal, welkom en leuk dat je kijkt naar weer een nieuwe les van Dynamic Activities. We hebben er heel veel zin in en we hopen jij ook. Als je er klaar voor bent, kunnen we beginnen. Doe je mee? Um, today we're going to go for something salty and something healthy because last time we made something very sweet and it was just a treat. Um, and today we will be making healthy fries. And healthy fries is because we're going to uh, cut some vegetables, uh, a few of the vegetables that I like a lot, into fry shapes and we're going to put them in this pointy fry bag and then drizzle them with some sauce to make it absolutely delicious. Um, and uh, we don't have to use any heat today so we're not using any fire or anything we're just going to use a knife uh, our cutting board um, a few bowls to mix our sauce in and that's it for today just like last week or last time i saw you guys um, i'm going to take two stills and show you the utensils we're using and also which ingredients we are using i might be squinting with my eyes a little bit because i'm standing right in the sun they're advising us not to go outside right now so I'm trying to soak up all the sun near the window. It's lovely inside, outside it's very windy. So don't be fooled by the sun. It's lovely inside, not outside. All right, that's my rant about the sun. Let's get back to the recipe. So uh, today I will be showing you um, just how to make the fries, then put them in really cute little cones, cone bags, sorry, and then just present them really well. You can use this recipe for a birthday party. You can use them for a family time. Uh, a, a event or you can use them during your movie night or if you have a Netflix moment when you're having a break from while you're studying you can make this little fast snack and then just enjoy it while you're sitting on the couch or in the salon or any place else where you want to go so um, if you want you can pause the video right now go wash your hands make sure your hair is tied up if you have to tie it up make sure your kitchen is ready and then we're going to start so welcome back if you just washed your hands and paused the video if you didn't Let's continue. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to take the cucumber because we're using a cucumber. Just cut the cucumber. What I like to do is I could like to cut them in half first. Then take the end. I'm using this little bowl for my trash today so I don't have to go back and forth to the, fr the, the trash can. I'm gonna cut this thing in the middle and I'm gonna make sure to take all the seeds out. You take the seeds out because you don't want to have that, uh, the watery texture, the moistness of the seeds to come into your fries because you're gonna put them in a paper bag. So what I like to do is I just like to take my spoon and scoop it up like that. Make sure just to take the seeds out. Don't take too much of that cucumber out. All my vegetables have been washed before I washed uh, for, before I started taping this video. So don't worry, make sure to wash all of your produce thoroughly. And then just cut them in rectangle pieces, like long strips. Just cut them in strips, just like that. And be careful, we're using a sharp knife. If you're not allowed to use a sharp knife in the kitchen, make sure you're with somebody who can help you out with cutting the, the vegetables. And if you are allowed to cut the, uh, the, the vegetables by yourself, make sure you cut away from yourself. Don't cut towards yourself, but away. When you're using a cucumber, especially when you come to the end, try to make a roundish form of your hands so your nails are tucked in and just push it like that. So if the knife slips, you won't cut into your own hand, all right? So be careful. I wanna like to do, you saw that? I want to make sure not to cut through your own finger. There you go. side we're going to step repeat the step take your spoon push down a little teaspoon oh sorry take your cucumber push down your spoon and just take out all these seeds just like that you might need to use a little bit of force and make sure you just take out the seed don't take anything away from the, from the cucumber and just push it through Make sure your knife is cutting away from you. 
And there you go. And I'll keep this one a little bit bigger. Sometimes your fries, fries are never that even. So if one is a little bit fatter than the other one, it's fine. Take the end of the cucumber, cut that away, cut it in half. There we go. That's it. And if you see there's a little part here where there's still a little bit of the, the inside of the seeds of the cucumber. Just try to take that out because that has a lot of water in it and the water is going to um, not help out when you have to put them in the cone because the paper cones are, they're made of paper and if it touches a lot of water, it's gonna soak through and then it's gonna get soggy and you don't want to have that to happen. All right, so I think we have enough cucumbers for now. Let's go to the carrots. Our little carrots i took smaller carrots you can take bigger carrots if you want these are the baby ones that i used they already washed they're drying out of, oh, sorry they're drying out a little bit it's all right just take one cut it in half and cut it again so you're going to get four equal pieces as far as you can get them equally you're going to do that with the other ones as well you have smaller ones I like to play around with different um, sizes of the vegetables because I don't, I don't feel like fries are always the same size and they're, 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 they have an equal length. So it's fun to play around with your vegetables. So I chose uh, carrots, cucumbers, and uh, a pepper because that's what I like. But you can use any other vegetable if you like um, asparagus. You can cook them through before you. Uh, you can eat them and then cool them off. You can use a yellow pepper if you like yellow peppers better. You can use uh, any other vegetable. Just name it. You can use it. I even once once I even saw somebody use fruit for it. Uh, I'm not really a fan of fruit into this snack because a lot of fruits have a lot of moisture in them, and then they just make the whole whole um, the whole dish like the whole package really moist and I don't like that so no, I just keep my fruits and my vegetables separate all right so these were a few of the carrots we're done with that too and now we're going to take the pepper there's a little trick to root to cutting the pepper you can use it this way you can cut a pepper this way you just make a little cut here and then go around like that and you go here, do the same thing. You can take it from this side as well. Cut it along the line. And the last part. There you go. And then you are left with this little piece. And you can put that in your little bowl. Take all the seeds out because we're not going to eat the seeds. You can leave those out. Take your knife and be very careful. Take out all these parts. And like that. Just take that out and be careful because you are using your knife. If you think it's scary to touch your knife that way, just ask somebody else around to help you out. If you don't have anybody else around, a lot of supermarkets they even uh, offer you already cut vegetables now. So that makes it easier for you, so you can use those. You take your knife and you just cut them in. There you go. You have a shorter part, another short part, another short part, a longer part. Just go that way. Just 
small one, this piece. So away. Two sizes of that. And I think I'm gonna leave these for later. Any vegetable that you're not using, so if you have the, these pieces of uh, peppers left or a cucumber or a carrot, you can just nibble on it like that or you can make it into a soup or you can put them in a sauce. I wouldn't put a cucumber into any sauces, especially not sauces that go on the stove because I just don't like the texture of what happens to a cucumber when it goes on heat. But you can eat the cucumber by itself or you can use it as a snack later on. You can, you can throw it all in, you can make a salad out of it. You can do whatever you want. So uh, the next step that I'm using is I'm going to get my cheese out of the fridge and my mayonnaise because we're going to need that. I'm going to get a glass. I'm going to get a glass of water. I'll be right back. All right. So to add some something to uh, this lovely, lovely snack, I thought to use a snack sausage. So now some kids are not allowed to eat these or some kids, can, they might be vegan or they have a, a religion where they are not allowed to eat these but kind of sausages because this is made of pork. You can get um, uh, um, these party snacks or any other sausage that you are allowed to eat. Just make sure it's, 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 it's cold and if you have to cook it first, make sure you cool it off and then make sure it's, it's dried off. Don't make, make sure it's dry sausage at the end. Don't get hot sausage into the bag. It's gonna mess up with the vegetables and the sauce. It's not gonna turn out right. So if you have these, um, I know that um, a lot of kids eat these hot dogs, uh, like these hot dog sausages, and you have to cook them in water first. That's fine. Cook them in water first, but make sure to cool them off afterwards. Yes, I'm just using this one because it's easy. Um, you know, I just wanted to use something easy right now. If you have this laying around, it's easier for you. If not, use whatever you have. That goes for any other ingredient during this recipe. If you say, oh, I don't like the cheese that you're using, I want something else, use the cheese that you like. Um, for the sauce, I'm using a little bit of mayonnaise, uh, yogurt-based mayonnaise. Some kids don't like that or they're, uh, they don't want it. You can use whatever that is that you like. You can use ketchup if you don't like mayonnaise. You can say, oh, I want vegan mayonnaise. You're allowed to do that. The recipe is, you can interpret it in any way you want, all right? So there's no um, uh, there's no restriction. That means there, there's, nothing, so, there's nothing that you cannot do in this recipe. The recipe is just a guideline, just an outline for you, but you can tweak it in any way, shape, or form that you want. Yes? All right, let's continue. We're taking out the sausage. Make sure you take off the wrapper because you wouldn't like to eat the wrapper. There we go. And just take the sausage, make sure it's a little bit firm and tough. Open it, cut it on this end as well. And then you can cut it in half again. Second one. Side. Sorry, had to clean something off. I'm just clean off this part. There we go. And now we're taking some cheese because I love me some self myself some cheese. Just cut it open. Usually there's an opening here, but I couldn't find it, so I'm using a knife a little. And Do you know that one story with the teacher who couldn't open the cheese? Well, 
It took me forever, but I opened the cheese. Yay, it worked. So for this part of the recipe, for the cheese part, you can also use uh, string cheese. Some kids, they like it, you can buy it at the store as well. You already have store-bought cheese, cheese strings. You can use that if you want. You can use an actual piece of cheese. That I like I like this cheese, that's why I bought this one. Um, just choose whatever cheese you want. Just make sure it's not melted cheese. Melted cheese will not work for this recipe. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut the rind off. Just cut the rind off. We're not gonna eat that part. Just, I'm gonna take half of the cheese for now. There you go. Put that to the side, maybe later. If I don't have enough, I can always add. Just cut the rind away. Cut it away. There we go. Then we're going to cut them into long sticks. There you go. And I like young cheese, it's a bit softer, but if you like older cheese, you can use that. If you like fennel cheese, you can use it. Uh, some kids even like pesto cheese, use that. If you have it around the house and you can, you can use it, just take it and then cook with it. That's what I like about these recipes. You can tweak them whatever way, shape or form you want. It's not set in stone what you have to do. All right, I'm gonna cut them in half again. Put them beside the sausage. There we go. going to take everything that I'm not using, like the trash and stuff, I'm going to put that here for a second, so you guys can pay attention to that, I hope you're not going to get distracted by it. I'm going to make the sauces right now, okay, the knife, do I need the knife? No, I don't need the knife anymore, let me just put that here. Uh, I can put the cheese here. Now I'm going to make the sauce. The sauce is very easy, I just bought two dipping sauces, these are um, from the local supermarket where I'm from. Um, I just took the one with the aioli flavor. That's like a garlicky flavor. So I really like it a lot with my vegetables. And the other one is a new one for me. It's called a carnival dipping sauce. Um, it's with a mild curry flavor. Um, so I just wanted to try it. If you don't want to try it, if you're like, oh, I have my own sauces, just do that. Just do use whatever you want. Um, and what we're going to do is the instructions are on the back. So it says um, you can take the whole bag and mix it with two and a half uh, tablespoons of mayonnaise and one tablespoon of water. I don't need that much. Um, so I'm just going to see how much I will be needing. I'm going to, as we say, wing this one. And that means I'm just going to add water my texture. I'm just gonna see how much I need. I'm just gonna add water a little bit by um, a little bit at a time. So this is going to be experimental cooking for now. Just take a little of this bag. Is that it? Well, then I'm gonna take the whole bag. All right. So change of plans. We're using the instructions because it was not that much, but it's all right. We'll take the whole bag. So that means the bag said if you're taking the full size, what we have to do is you take two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise and one tablespoon of water. So we're taking, that's why I took the glass with me, one tablespoon of water, two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. All right, it's a new one. Of course, I knew this, I knew this. There we go. So, make sure you close it completely. That's one. Two. And a half. Yeah, it's a half. This will do. And now make sure because it's uh, this one is a curry powder and has a yellow uh, color. So make sure um, when you're mixing this, don't mixing this, don't go too hard so you're not gonna um, uh, stain your clothes. 
make sure to do that. So just carefully stir it through, stir it through. Ooh, I like this color. Mmm, the flavor is good too. Alright, doesn't look bad. It looks good. So I'm gonna take a piece of carrot. What I didn't to show you guys last week because there wasn't a lot of space to try the the cookies or uh, in between but this recipe is perfect because you can taste your food in between as you're cooking just make sure you don't eat everything in one sitting because that happens sometimes when you cook as well so I'm taking the sauce just drizzle a little bit the reason why I'm not dipping it in this the bowl is if I would like the taste I would like to dip in again and double dipping is not really nice if you're sharing a sauce. So make sure that if you do that, just do it with a spoon first. Or another trick that I learned, if you want to double dip, dip it from one side, then switch hands and go in with the clean side. That's a tip as well. So let me try this. Mmm. Mmm. That's really, really good. I like this one. I think I'm just gonna make this one. So, I took two bags, sorry, excuse me, but I've decided to just use one because it's actually a lot of sauce and I don't have the, that many bags for today. All right, so we're just gonna use one. If you want to use two sauces, you're more than welcome. If you wanna use four, go ahead, it's your party. All right, now the fun stuff. So I already made a few of these um, cone bags for your fries. I have a green one, I have a blue one. Uh, on the inside, there's a lining of baking paper. I took one without baking paper. And my question to you guys is, what will happen if I put my vegetables and sauce in this paper bag? What will happen? So, now the fun start begins. We're going to fill them in with some goodies. I also have these um, pretzel sticks. And on the inside, they're filled with peanut butter. So make sure you're not allergic to them. If you're allergic to peanut butter or anything, don't use these. You have a cheese filling one and you have a without, you have these sticks without any filling in them. Use those. So make sure if you're allergic to something to switch that with something that you can have, all right? So what you do, you take a few of the, I'll use some cucumbers first. I'll take a few cucumbers, just put them in there. My cone is a little bit higher than the vegetables itself. But that's okay. Just take a few peppers, take a few carrots, just put them in there. Take some few pieces of cheese, some sausages. There we go. Take a few of the sticks. There we go. Just drizzle a little of that sauce on top. Ooh. That was my attempt to at being a very good chef and drizzle my sauce, but that went all over the place, but that's fine. Just drizzle a little bit of the sauce. That's one. Take another one. Take some cucumbers again. Some carrots. Just pluck those in. In the bag, Mabel, in the bag. Put some sausages in. Cheese. There we go. Oh, that's a big bag. One more piece of sausage. Oh, I didn't put the things in there. All right, put that in. There we go. Some sauce. Put this to the side for a second. healthy fries here we go I hope oh they look really good let me try let me try the um, the cheese with it mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. I like this one oh yeah 
Oh, this is a really nice one. So, you guys, as you can see, healthy snacks to compensate the unhealthy one from last week. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as well. Um, I'm going to leave everything in the link below. I have sauce everywhere. Sorry, I was distracted by my own hand. I have sauce everywhere. Um, I'm going to put the recipe in the description below as well with the utensils and the ingredients and a little assignment as well to go along. I hope you have some fun. And um, bon appetit! Dit was het voor deze keer. Leuk dat je erbij was. En uh, hopelijk doe je de volgende les weer mee. Tot dan!